here's a item I got at an estate sale quite a while back and since that wouldn't work I set it aside but I've made a little progress on it since then this is uh, I think from the late 40s it is a gray autograph dictation machine comes in this little like a burlap sap case Got a little spot under here for discs and stenographer uh, records and in the top it comes with a spot for the microphone and a holder and it kind of sets in a little holes here so we'll take this out and take a look at it you're not going to hear it play anything because I never got that far uh, must have some type of recording or output audio problems but I can get some of the other mechanicals working right on the front we have our power switch first I thought that was a pilot light but I've decided it's a meter headphone jack which I need because apparently this has no audio out for some reason. Um, I believe this stands for release. I've noticed that right in here, this I think catches on the little uh, transcriber note paper. And if you want to remove that paper, you have to press that down. You can see there's a little action in there. Um, the person dictating would press end to make a mark here if they had a correction to make they would press that that would mark it for the transcriptionist this controls where the little record is it moves along based on that let's put a record on needs to be out here I have figured out it took me a while to figure all this out I had no idea how to use any of this it's been trial and error so when you want to start you would always be in like this and if you pressed play or record this would slowly move out until the record is out like here it takes about 30 minutes but when I first got this, I couldn't get it to do anything. I used the dim bulb and tried to power it up, but it was totally dead. Couldn't figure out why. Uh, so I took the bottom off, and I, I don't know what all the problems are, but I did find a blown fuse. So I replaced that, and that helped. Over here we have our attachment point for the microphone and probably something else. Maybe a speaker. Maybe, maybe it needs a speaker there. I don't know. Uh, heat out. Let's see. We have back there. And one more thing. If you press here, a little button right there on both sides, the top opens up. And this is what you see under the top. More belt, fan. tubes I don't know what that tube is that's a 6v6 there and I have I don't know what this is but trial and error there's three detents here a lower one a middle one and an upper one and I can't get the machine to do anything unless it's in the lower one so I don't know what that means And here's what you see when you take the bottom plate off. It was down here, that fuse is the one that was blown. That's a one and a half amp fuse. 
that I wasn't looking right when I couldn't get it to power on. So we replaced that. That's when we at least got a little bit started. The belt looks somewhat okay. There's the uh, some of the patent information. And here you can see the microphone, terribly frayed. That might be a cause of some of my problems. We'll fit it in here. I have found another trial and error that it's difficult to get this to do much without this plugged in, even on playback. So after replacing the fuse, I'm going to turn this little light off here. I thought that was going to be a pilot light, but it's not. Apparently, that's the pilot light. And we have to record and listen. You can see the little pilot light's on right now. So I press it to play. And there we go. Now looking at the grooves, there might be something recorded on there, but I can tell you I've had a headphone plugged in there and I hear static, and it almost sounds like I can hear something, but I really can't, so I'm not even going to bother uh, trying to hook up an external loudspeaker to hear. It's just obnoxious static, but sometimes the static is in the, uh, sort of the, the tone of a voice, if you know what I mean the way it stops and starts and you think you hear sentences but you really don't so what would happen is slowly over time as I hit play this would go all the way out so you play back from the middle of the disc to the edge and then you could remove it. Same when you start to record. You have it there. You press record. And as I fiddle with the mic here, probably because of the phrase of the chords, I get some, some starting and stopping got a press button there but uh, it doesn't seem to make any difference I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be doing but I have to kind of hold the mic just right or it stops and starts and same thing for playback so there's some type of issues here I'd almost need to have the instructions along with the service manual to see what I'm doing wrong But at least now it turns on and off, so I'm making a little progress. Well, that's a little bit of a gray autograph from, I think, the uh, maybe the late 1940s. I've seen some of these, but they have a big word autograph up here somewhere and different model numbers. This actually doesn't have a model number. It just has it inscribed there. But I thought you might like to see it anyway, even though it doesn't really work. Hope you enjoyed it.